hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a souvenir bag so before any further i do let's get started Control n for new page here i'm going to use a3 paper size so select then change it to inches then i will leave the resolution at 300 then click on grids so this is the portrait size okay now i'm going to bring my guideline and position one around the end. then I'm going to position another one over here this way all right then go to your rent angle then you select the rent angle 2 you come over here then you drag it down okay now i'm going back to draw another one over here and the last one i'm going to draw it yeah okay then select this one then go to your gradient field overlay okay i'm going to use the color over here so this is the color i'm going to use so now the first code color code i'm going to use is this one Control C to copy. Then click over here. Then Control V to paste. I'm going to delete this one. Then select this one. Then come back here to copy the code control c to copy then control v to paste select this one then you enter 39 then okay Then turn your angle to 90 degree. Then you leave the scale at 100%. Okay. Then control 0 to fit the to fit it to page. So this is the column. Now I will hold my alt key then drag this effect to this layer you can see then also hold your alt again then you drag it to this one now this one i'm going to turn it then double click on this effect then select the gradient overlay now go to your angle then you enter zero click ok so it's over here now so what i'm going to do next now i'm going to copy a test which is this one then ctrl c to copy select your test tool press t on the keyboard to select a test tool 
Now click over here. Then Ctrl V to paste. I'm going to change the font to this font here, Adelon. Adelon Syria. So now I'm going to change it to capital letter. All right. Then I'll position it over here. Then I will duplicate it, Ctrl J. Then you drag it here. Then Ctrl J again to duplicate it. Then you drag it over here. Ctrl J again to duplicate it. Then you drag it over here. Now I'm going to select all, hold your shift key, then you select. Then I'm going to drag it. Cancel. Then I'll drag it over here so that I will see the end. okay now you can see as it is here then i'm going to position this one well then ctrl j to duplicate it again then you position it over here now i'm going to select all again hold your shift key then you select it then now right click and convert it to smart object so now that i have this one then i'll drag it over here so this is the first print angle so it will be at the top of it Then I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl J, or you drag it to this place. Then I'm going to rotate it this way. Then turn this one off. So as I rotate it now, then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to duplicate it again. Ctrl J to duplicate it. Then you now drag it down over here. Now I'm going to duplicate it again or you drag it here. So now this is how you will continue to duplicate it. Then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to fast forward because of time. Okay, now we are done with it. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to select, then hold your shift key, then convert it to smart object. So now it has become one. Then I will turn on the rent angle. So 
right click then and apply great clipping mask so you can see the effect on it there all right so again i'm going to turn this one on now then take it up here now i'm going to turn off the right angle then i'm going to do the same thing just the way i did to this one so here again i'm going to fast forward Okay, yeah, we have we are done with this one again. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to select it, select it all, hold your shift key, then you convert it to smart object. Then I'm going to reduce the size. Then I'm, we take it above this one. Then rotate it. Then right click and create a clipping mask. So, here it is. Now I'm going to turn this one off nothing to affect it again all right so after i'm done with this one then i'm going to bring this image then I'll position it here then drag it down Then right click, then create a clipping mask. Then position it this way. Then bring this one. Then apply vertical, then an horizontal this way. And I will reduce the size this way then bring it down over here right click then create a clipping mask so drag this one like this Then drag this one back like this. Okay. Now I'm going to copy this letter. Control C. Then select your test tool. Then Control V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font to this font, Ashant. then increase the size okay now i'm going to apply the drop shadow reduce the spread then and the size is okay then you click okay what i'm going to do now i'm going to double click on this one then i'm going to apply on it so 
These are the code and the locations. Then I'm going to click OK. All right. Then group these ones. Okay, again, I'm going to copy this letter, Ctrl C, then select your test tool, Ctrl V to paste, then I'm going to change the font to Beautiful Lovina. Then I will remove it from capital letter. Then position it at the center. Then I'm going to copy this layer style. Right click. Then you will see copy layer style. Then select this one. Right click again. Then you paste the layer style. So that is it. I will position this guideline over here so that my test will not be crossed over here. Then I'm going to position another one over here. So it's okay like this. All right. Now, again, I'm going to copy this one. Control C. Then select your test tool. Control V to paste. Then change the font to Adelon Syria. Then I will take this one up here. Then I will put hashtag at the back. Then I'm going to reduce the size. Let it be little like this. Then I'm going to copy this color code here control c then control v to paste so now i'm going to select this place this background then I will come to the top here. Then I'm going to draw a rectangle over here from here. Then I'll drop it over here. Then right click and you select warp here then you drag it up i'm going to paste the color i used before oh, sorry this is not the color i'm going to use this color this color code 
this is the one i'm going to use this one all right so now you can see the color i'm going to use then select your gradient of um then select your gradient overlay so i have it already here so this is the code now i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl j hold your shift key then you drag it down then right click clear the layer style then you will have this color hold your shift key drag it up a bit now i'm going to duplicate this one then hold your shift key you drag it down then copy this color then ctrl v to paste all right now i'm going to duplicate this one then drag it up over here now hold your shift key then you drag it down it's okay then double click on the layer style then open open it so this is the one i'm going to use so here is the code to the recent one so this is the first one then why the second one is this then i'm going to duplicate this one again then take it up over here then hold your shift key then you drag it down like this so let me know anywhere you don't understand under the description so i will reply your comments now i'm going to apply drop shadow on this one the angle i'm going to put zero then i will reduce the opacity then you can rotate the angle to the area you want it it's okay like this so the, now the angle is 57 okay now here i'm going to bring this flower then i'll drag this flower behind the rectangle there then i will reduce it this way then i will reduce it this way drag this one up then ctrl j to duplicate reduce it more now duplicate it ctrl j or you drag it over there then hold your shift key while you move it
then you duplicate it again you move it around here so something like this so this is what you have then i will now drag this one down again then i will copy this test here select your test tool then control v to paste then you take it up then i'm going to use the column of this one that is the column infect hold your alt key then you drag the test infect here you can see now i'm going to reduce the size then position it at the center So now I'm going to select this monkey tool then I'll drag from here then to this side then you drop your tools then select the test then apply vertical alignment then you see it will position it at the center of it then ctrl d to deselect then i'm going to drag this then reduce the size then i'm position it over here so you can see now i will also bring this one then i'm going to rasterize it then select my eraser tool then increase the size and i'll clean off this one then apply vertical then i'm going to reduce the size so let me know under the comment section if it's okay to leave it here or it's not okay then i'm going to use linear bond so that it will match the color there i think this is too big and uh, i need to reduce it then it's okay so now as you can see we are done with this area then i'm going to remove this one and drag it up then i'll combine this one then group it then this one and i'll group it then i'll drag this one so now they are together okay so we are done with this one so
So if you want to put courtesy, then so you can put courtesy under here. For instance, then duplicate this one. Then I may say courtesy. Maybe you put. Um, maybe let's see the groom or you can use the groom's family the bride or the bride family so anyone if you wish to include it then you can include it this way so you can see so this is how you can design a souvenir bag so thank you very much for watching please if you are new here remember to subscribe like and share thank you so much